sounds like they've captured themselves above. Broke you and read it. Ah, Mr. With fragulous crown and with scepter a braid, draw Raglan, short work of the innkeeper made. <laughs> the inn burnt to ash. The captives were many. Goblet kind had reduced them to cowering filfenny. So raise it, your goblets, and drain them with pride. Draw Ragslin, the true soul, had let you collide. I reckon draw Ragslin's the gobbo in charge, the way this one's carrying on. You, move off! Do as she says, now. <clears throat> now, where was I, huh? Wait a tick, that a friend of yours. Oh, certainly not. What are you doing? I'm busy here. You lying. To you? Never. Come, let's continue our ballad. <clears throat> Uh, draw Ragslin, uh, draw Ragslin. Um, uh, um, uh, I am uh, draw Ragslin. Um, um, come choose, uh, uh, draw Ragslin. Uh, um. You broke him. Wait, wait. Uh, draw Ragslin. We pray. We uh... come on, pigeon. Back to your cage. Now, look what you've done. Come on! Of course, man. My name's Gribbo, idiot! Right, yes. Not for me. You was brilliant in the rain, lads. Beautiful stuff, live. New back from a keen wreck. We have to find Halcyn before it's too late. I doubt these goblins care much for their prisoner's welfare. Finding him is one. Getting him out safely is something else entirely. Statue of Saloon. Bloody racket. And now oh, it's a list for some now. filthy goblins. They're just having a bit of fun. A fitting in. Oi! Ain't no party in here! We're doing the absolute's work! State your business. Now! The mark glows, but you feel nothing in response. Your illithid power is beyond reach until you rest. Likes of you, please. Only boss you need concern yourself with is me. Out! Now! Bloody racket! Saluna. As if mingling with a horde of goblins wasn't bad enough. Let's do what we have to do, then get out of here. Quite the understatement, but yes. Let's not linger in this place any more than necessary. <laughs> Oi! We ain't said you pass! You don't pass! Oi! We... is off limits. Perhaps the guard can be convinced otherwise.
conviction is enough. This will be taken no further. Nonetheless, this area remains forbidden. Best not try that again, lest your actions speak louder than your words. Oi! Ain't no pipe state your business. Now! As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. Oh, beg your pardon. You must be here to join the other true souls. Uh, please! Right ahead. Well, because that's what you are, isn't it? One of them as hears our thoughts and the voice of the absolute. Like Priestess Gut and Boss Ragslin. Gods, we even got a drow now. The absolute is gathering us all together for something big. I reckon. More vile idolatry. Makes my stomach turn. For once, the goblins' decorations are in real. Now, here's somebody special. The Absolute has touched you. Hasn't she? Priestess Gut needs to touch you too. Hold out your arm so I can mark your flesh. A priestess? One of the leaders, no doubt about it. Let's make her squeal. What's that? Tell your friend to keep quiet, or he'll lose his good eye. Ready for the fire, are ya? Let's the faithful recognize one another quick sharp. That way nobody'll mess with ya. And it's charged with magic. Ordinary slobs can't see it. Only us that follow the absolute. Charged with magic? Perhaps that explains the ease with which these goblins submit to true souls. You ready? Brace yourself. This'll sting. Hold still. As pain muddles your thoughts, your minds become entangled. A familiar sensation. She, too, carries a parasite. Darkness seems to swallow the temple, leaving you with a vision of the goblin priestess receiving instruction from a handsome young man, one of the chosen. The vision dissolves away. You stand before the goblin priestess in the temple once again. Her faith floods into you, a tide of shuddering ecstasy. Her tadpole nestles within that mania, secure, hidden. I feel you in there, digging around. Works both ways. And I saw some weird shadows swimming around in your head just now. Maybe I can help with that. Us true souls gotta look out for one another. With the Absolute's will, I can fix anything. Let's deal with this in my chapel. It's private. Don't want this lot interfering with true soul business. Oi! Priestess, we want them all. Yeah, I'm quite good enough for the absolute. Oi, come here. I ain't 
waiting up, ready to clear your head. Whatever the Absolute tells me to. Don't worry, she loves you. I can tell. Don't want a crowd of gawpers. Everybody else needs to leave. Ready to clear your head. Don't want a crowd of gawpers. I wonder. Ready to clear your head? Smart. All you need to do is open yourself to the absolute. And I'll do the rest. Don't want anyone peeping on private matters. So. There we go. Secret and safe. Secret? Psionic feelers creep across your mind, like a pickpocket's fingers seeking flaws in fabric. Sifting deeper, she sees the mind flare holding a wriggling tadpole to your eye. And then the vision lurches, and you are looking through her eyes as a tadpole squirms into her skull. Help! We need to fish that thing out before it eats any important parts of your brain. No. It's messing with your brain. You're seeing things, probably hearing voices too, yeah? Don't you worry. I've got everything I need to fix you. Might get a bit messy, though. It involves you putting your trust in the absolute. Simple. You won't regret this. Being a true soul, you know the absolute don't like to touch nothing unclean. So drink this. It'll purify ya. You recognize telltale flecks of werejackal blood. It's a potion of sleep. This could have gone easy for you. Not now, though. I'll tear you to shreds! Just move back! 